Hi, my name is Max. Hi, my name is Matea. I'm a molecular biologist and we're both working at ResearchGate. A year ago, the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic brought life as we knew it to a standstill. Universities and research institutions closed their doors to the public. Conferences and events were canceled or moved online. And donors and grant makers cut funding amidst an international economic downturn. For researchers, the pandemic presented many challenges to traditional academic and workplace models. ResearchGate provided some insights into these challenges in our first COVID-19 impact report, which we released in the spring of 2020. In this webinar, we'll be covering the content of our second COVID-19 impact report. The report unpacks some of the implications of the pandemic for scientific researchers. While the last year has been full of uncertainty, we're happy to be able to say that science hasn't slowed down. It's just moved online. He will give you a brief overview of the ResearchGate community and our research methodology. Then we'll talk about how the pandemic has affected researchers' lives, including changes to workplace protocols, work from home activities, experimental research, and funding opportunities. We hope the webinar will provide you with some insights into these changes. Let's first talk about how this report was made. Where did we get our data from? In February 2021, we asked the registered members to complete a survey, specifically exploring the impact of the pandemic on researchers in STEM fields. Respondents included life scientists, applied scientists, physical scientists, and social scientists. We were able to collect answers from 2,000 registered members in an 18-hour window. We can say with 99% confidence that these results reflect the views of the whole ResearchGate member community. But that brings us to the next question. What does the ResearchGate member community look like? ResearchGate is the largest professional network for scientists and researchers. We have more than 20 million members from around the world. Over 80% of our members are located in either Europe, Asia or North America, with around 8% from South America, 4% in Africa and 3% uh, from Oceania. In terms of disciplines, engineers have the highest representation. Around 19% of our members are engineers, representing 3.8 million engineers. 16% are in medicine and 13% are in biology. Around 7% are computer scientists, another 7% are in chemistry and 4% in physics. Our membership data has shown that COVID-19 has accelerated the shift of scientific activity to online settings. The pandemic disrupted traditional ways of working, meaning that scientists have been looking for online solutions in order to bridge these gaps. Three million new members signed up to ResearchGate in 2020, up from one million in 2019. This translated to an average 8,100 new members daily up from 5,000 in 2019. We also saw major increases in our annual and monthly page impressions. Nearly all of our survey respondents reported being affected by the pandemic, with 50% reporting a significant impact. The experience has been especially challenging for researchers who are also caregivers. Respondents cited a number of reasons for these difficulties. These include employers believing that everyone is more readily available for meetings while working from home, the need to monitor children's online schooling routines and larger amount of family related chores. 81% of researchers reported a switch to working from home, with another 3% saying that they would prefer to be working from home. 35% of researchers say they are working from home, but not exclusively. This suggests that they have limited, highly regulated access to inside facilities and resources for certain personnel. But being pulled away from the lab doesn't necessarily mean going off track. 64% of respondents reported that they've continued planning experiments or analyzing data. Some said that working from home has given them more time to focus on writing new papers and finding new ways to use data from previous experiments. Given delays in experiments, researchers have found new ways of being productive. 40% of researchers report spending more time searching for and reading scientific literature. 
Over the past year, ResearchGate page impressions have similarly increased from 3 billion annually to 3.9 billion. COVID-related uncertainty has affected many traditional funding streams. 40% of researchers are spending more time looking for funding opportunities, writing grants, or reviewing grant applications. Respondents claim that coronavirus research is receiving a disproportionate amount of funding. Other fields of research are perceived as being underfunded. Many respondents also mentioned delays in grant reviews. Researchers are also spending more time writing and producing publications. 51% of researchers reported spending more or much more time writing, submitting and peer reviewing papers. One researcher told us they reviewed four times as many papers as usual over the last year and others told us they were far more productive in terms of writing and reviewing papers. 72% of researchers reported spending less time attending conferences or other in-person events, but many respondents reported positive aspects of online events. Some told us they found online conferences to be practical as they are cheaper and more accessible by a variety of researchers. 40% of researchers reported spending more time on teaching than before the pandemic started. Generally, they did not seem enthusiastic about the change, citing an array of administrative challenges and disruption of work-life balance. Some said that online learning comes with the expectation of being online 24-7. Some respondents also said that lesson planning was taking significantly more time due to the need to present courses in an online-friendly format. Setting up remote learning platforms correctly for effective teaching and learning is time-consuming and frustrating for many. The majority of researchers say they're still participating in collaborative projects. 31% said that spending a similar amount of time collaborating as before the pandemic, while another 31% reported spending more time collaborating. But the way they're collaborating has changed. Instead of spending more time together in the lab, more scientists are connecting online. And we've seen this firsthand at ResearchGate. We had an average of 8,000 daily signups in 2020, over 3,000 more signups per day than in 2019. Social restrictions and facility closure have had a significant effect on lab activities. More than half of respondents said they're spending less or much less time searching for or purchasing lab equipment and 42% spending less or much less time on lab management and administration duties. The lack of access to facilities meant a dip in laboratory equipment product research and sales, but scientific companies instead are unlocking new opportunities to connect with researchers via high value scientific educational content and online events. In the last year, the ResearchGate platform has measured a 53% increase in sponsored content promotion views with a 68% increase in clicks. Social activity on the network has helped to propel the promotion of digital events, such as webinars, which get an average click-through rate of 1.31% on ResearchGate, far exceeding industry averages. The economic effects of the pandemic have stretched to research institutions around the world. It seems there are now more scientists looking for their next career move. Nearly half of our survey respondents reported spending more time looking for job opportunities than before the pandemic. In some cases, this was due to job loss or the inability to secure funding. 66% of researchers said that they are spending more or as much time keeping up to date with other scientific institutions, a sign that they're keen to keep an ear to the ground in the scientific research community. ResearchGate's proprietary data from more than 20 million members and 3.9 billion annual page impressions also suggests new research job-seeking behavior. In 2020, we saw a 15% increase in the average number of views across all jobs promoted within the network, while the average number of applications received via ResearchGate job suggestions increased by 30%. Talent acquisition teams in science are now adopting new ways of working to ensure they hire the best candidates. ResearchGate Scientific's recruitment solutions measured a 38% increase in talent acquisition teams employing two or more strategic tools to hire. 
Many teams are now utilizing more modern digital techniques that go beyond the traditional job posting, including employer branding and direct recruiter outreach via the ResearchGate network. So what have we learned from all this? The survey gave us three key takeaways. First, science isn't slowing down, but it's being produced differently. It's clear that there had been a significant reduction in researchers' ability to conduct experiments and generate new data due to labs and resources being closed. But researchers are instead analyzing existing data, reviewing significantly more scientific literature, and unleashing a backlog of articles and publications. Second, more researchers are spending more time online. It's clear that researchers are discovering and consuming considerably more scientific content online. They're also using online platforms to connect and collaborate with their scientific peers. The acceleration of online scientific events, webinars, and conferences has enabled more segments of the scientific community to gather and participate in the conversation. And finally, we've learned that the scientific job market is adapting to the moment. The pandemic has led to economic contraction, increased unemployment rates, and the cancellation of in-person events. It's also presented increased challenges to securing funding. Scientific researchers are dealing with increased job insecurity by more actively staying up to date with other research organizations and applying for more jobs. Meanwhile, organizations hiring in science are keeping pace and utilizing new digital channels to connect with the top talent. Thanks so much for joining our webinar. We hope it provided you with some useful insights into the changing ways researchers are working and collaborating. You can learn more about ResearchGate on our website, www.researchgate.net. To learn more about what our members are doing, follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Medium.